Have you had any run-ins with the police before? Yes. Um, well, did it involve you and a group of people or just you by yourself? Uh, well, I've, had, I've been arrested once at a game <coughs> stopped and search with a group. Okay. Um, do you think you were fairly cheated? Uh, in when I was stopped in a group, I think I was in. Yeah. Okay. Um, but when you were stopped by yourself, do you think it was a bit unfair? No, I think it was fine. Okay. Why were you stopped? Uh, for tampering with the bus. It made you not do anything like that again? Yeah, I've never done it again. Okay, did it, um, how did you feel? Did you feel like embarrassed? Did you feel ashamed? Ashamed. Okay, so you we interviewed ex-police officer Michael Warian about what he thinks about stop and search. If they're going to search you, they should only be searching you if they've got reasonable suspicion that you've got something that you shouldn't have. The, what they should then tell you is who they are, their rank, the station to which they're attached, what they're searching for and the reasons why they're searching for that and the power and if they're not doing that they're not doing their job properly and so what i would do as a youngster just take the is number yeah PSC. remain calm don't argue with them in the street don't don't get into an argument with them because if they're the sort of ones that's not doing their job right they might be the sort of ones to uh, add additional evidence or rest you for being disorderly or something. So you are far better off just to comply and then complain afterwards. Once they've completed the search on you, their job is done. If they haven't found anything on you, you do not have to give your name and address. Right? If you haven't committed any criminal offence, you're alright. Have you ever been involved or in trouble with the police? Uh, yeah, various times, just for stupid things. And have you been stopped and searched when you've been by yourself or with a group uh, of people? I've been stopped and searched when I was with my friends and, and by myself. Like, it happens a lot of the time. Why do you think it happens? Well, I think it might be the way I dress, but I don't think you should prejudge someone okay. before, you know, before you get to know them. And when they actually stop me and they speak to me, they realise I'm alright. Do you think you've deserved to be stopped and searched? A few of the times I have, yeah, a few of the times I have done stupid things, and, but the majority of the time I actually haven't, and I'm just walking along and minding my own business. But do you think it's because you've done stuff in the past, so they just remember you? Yeah, from the police station, or just from being with like, other people that are known to them. If you are stopped and searched in the street, you need to know your rights.